One the, song? Listen, yeah, I, don't, I think he's, he's trying too fan. hard to preserve your 2020 list, I think. It's, it's not, a real backpack. The whole year happened, man. Ooh, I got a little dirt. A lot of rap came out this year, B. A lot of rap came out 2021, man. Okay. It's a very uh, hip-hop. Brackets on brackets on brackets. We trying to get to these brackets. We flipping through all the these sits in these classics. Sometimes I don't know which one to pick when it happens. We mixing the match and we listening and trying to get brackets. Brackets. Let's get brackets. What's up, everybody? I'm your host, Brian B. Dot Miller. Now, every December, I've been known to ruffle some feathers by revealing my top 10 rapper list of the year. But instead of tweeting it out and watching the internet go nuts, I decided to bring it directly to you in a special year and edition of Complex Brackets. Joining me today are two very worthy sparring partners who I'm sure have a lot to say about my picks. Please welcome VP of Streaming and Strategy at Sony Orchard, Najee Grampus. Najee, what's good, man? My man, what's up? And Chief Content Officer at Tidal and my co-host of the Rap Radar Podcast, Elliot Wilson. This is scary, man. This is weird. <laughs> This is fucking weird. Yes, yeah, sure, baby. I'm happy to be here, man. It's an honor, man. Well, Thank you, man. Happy to have you, Elliot. Thank you. All right, Elliot, I'll start with you. You're very familiar with my past list. Do you often agree or disagree with me? I mean, you spark it up, man. I, I, it's amazing what you did, the power of what you have, and people care about what you think. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Najee, how do you feel about my list? So we're friends probably 11 months out the year, but December, like, I fucking hate you. Oh, like, wow. I hate your list. <laughs> I hate, like, I just don't understand it. You know what I'm saying? You so, get the calls, too? Like, it's oh, your fault also? They, they, yo, yeah. what's your man doing? You know yeah. what I'm it's like, we're lumped in for his, and it's all the 100% his views. So. It's, all, it's, it's crazy, man. Just blame the label, right? <laughs> blame me, why don't you? <laughs> all right, so before I reveal my top 10 rappers of 2021, I have to break down the criteria I use to create my list. First up, we have skills. It's a rapper's actual lyrical abilities. The performance, their showmanship on the track or album. And lastly, their presence, their relevance, and consistency throughout the year. All right, so we good with that? Let's go, Sounds let's good. go. I can't Sounds wait. Good. All right, let's get into it. Number 10, <laughs> Little Dirk. Ooh. Little Dirk. The wow. voice at number 10? The, the number four? I have to respect. I think some of his okay. performances this year were pretty notable. I think he scaled back a little bit on the auto tune. And one of my favorite verses this year is a Who Want to Smoke on Auto Wicks. Bro, I, I feel like you must have wrote this list from Iggy How. You still in the pandemic, or you ain't go outside at all. Like, Dirk is everywhere, bro. He's like, hot. Every, but outside of hot, if we're talking about just standing out verses, right? Like, Let's talk about the little baby tape. What he did on the Please record, you know, the voice of the heroes. Mm -hmm. I did like Killed hats the little off. baby tape. We talking about Hellcats and Trackhawks, right? Like, I remember playing Dipset. Like, what you <laughs> These are yeah, verses right. that we, yeah, we yeah, yeah, yeah. Verses, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what do you feel, Elliot? Is that too low for little Dirk? It feels a little low for Dirk, yo, man. I think it's influenced on culture, like Najee's saying. Um, you know, the album came out in the last year, so it carried over to this year. It went gold, I think. Yeah. Um, this is the height, height of his career, like the biggest he's ever been. So I think with his cultural influence, I think he should be a little higher. Obviously. And the other thing I want to mention. He definitely Dirk. belongs on the list, though. I think oh, we all agree on that. I'm glad you at least put like, it be a, this There'd be a problem if Dirk wasn't OTF on this list. going to be outside waiting for you. <laughs> you know, on this list. And you know, I'm, I'm no bias, snowball. I had to give credit where it's due. So shout out to Lil Dirk for making the cut this year. Shout out to The Voice. All right, at number nine, Mock Hami. My comedy. Wow. Ellie, it seems wow. like as if we have a kinship right now. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, I heard about Mock through the years as Underground King, but like that last project with him and West Side Gun, the yes. Haiti project. Pray for Haiti. Like that's definitely like one of my best albums of the year. My, you know, my rotation still. Like wow. I think they set a standard with that, I thought. That's crazy. You know what? With these lists, man, like we got the NBA and then we got the, the, the G Leagues. You feel me? You try to say Mike <laughs> Hobby's in the G League? <laughs> yeah, he ain't get to the level yet. It's underground. Yeah, the, the stats aren't there, right? The yeah, underground, to you get know? on the... Number nine, we number need number nine. See, that's what that does with his list. You, we all remember Stove God. Oh, so yeah, he loves so, to know Stove God yeah. kicking us out real day. So, like the put, like he, he be not like the mess with us by putting him above Dirk. That right. already ignites the conversation. I agree. He's not as popular as Dirk. But I think the lyricism shines through. That's the great thing about your list, though, too. Like, I feel like a lot of people discover Stove God because of your yeah. list before. Right. Very true. So maybe more people will discover Mock because of this list. I respect Yeah, so my thing is even if you disagree with Mock being on the list or that high, I think you should definitely still check out Pray for Haiti. I think that's a very strong album. All right, at number eight, we have 
Little baby. Ooh, hold on, listen. We talking about little baby. Let's analyze the year, right? Okay. Because again, coming off the 2020 forget, chip, right? 2020, we know. He, we know baby, baby ran. He had a great year. He had a 2021. Great 2020. If we're talking about the start of the year, Drake put out that three pack. Yes. Little baby smoke. Wants and needs. Wants and needs. Wants and needs. Wants and needs. Yes. Oh my. That's his show opener. Now he comes out to that joint. Bro, let's yeah. be honest. I've never. I, it's not that many people I could say that really bested Drake on a record. Little baby did that to me on that record. He what about what he did? What about what he did on that Cali record, man? Oh my Every chance he gravitated. Oh, come yeah. on. That's my favorite verse performance, whatever you call it, of the year, man. Yeah. That, that every chance I get with Lil Baby, he just I love that record. He levitates on that joint. Man. He sat it's up crazy. with Cole, he went, he sparred with Cole and he held did. his own. Yeah. Yeah. He got verses on the voice height. Number eight. I think he's number eight. I feel like he wow. did. Little Baby had a great year. There's no doubt about it, right? I think he started off the year strong. He had a collab with Russ that was kind of unexpected with ugly. The record that you mentioned, wants and knees, great. Yeah. But I think more, more towards like the Fourth quarter, third quarter, kind of, kind of cooled off. Oh, a see, that's because you ain't hit that Nardo Wick verse. He just dropped with the Nardo <laughs> Wick tape. Little baby, this whole year has been consistent, and he's spitting fire. His flows are like none other. Number eight is kind of crazy. But you know what makes me think of? I feel like you were singing it earlier, right? If that voice in the Hero album would have been more embraced, it went, it went gold. But yeah, yeah. Like, I feel like Dirk and Baby's profiles continue to grow individually, but people didn't embrace the joint project as much as they should have. To your point, I think if the Voice and the Hero album was a little bit stronger, I think Little Baby could have been up a little bit So we're saying stronger from a sales standpoint? No, no, no. Sonically, it was a, I thought it was a very yeah. strong project sonically. I think it's a little bit daunting. Or critically acclaimed, I think it's some not. fat on the album as well. But uh, it's, I think it's a solid effort. So I think Little Baby. This is controversial. Yeah, two of the you most. You got Little Dirk yeah, two of the most Kami. influential oh my rap God. artists in the game right now at the bottom of the list. If you man. think this is bad, wait till number seven. <laughs> <laughs> number seven, we have Benny the Butcher. Ooh. The Butcher coming. Nigga. Wow. Dodgy, you see, was like as Listen. if you were. Uh, Zelda. Listen, I, I personally <laughs> like Benny. That's my guy. Okay. I was trying to side Benny, actually. You know what I'm saying? This is my, I respect Benny's pen a lot. My thing is with number seven, and we just talking about 2021, Benny's project, like Plugs I Met too, was cool, but coming off a of burden of proof in 2020, yeah. it was a, it was a step down for me. You okay. know what I'm saying? And again, Benny is, Benny's Benny, be yeah. clear. The, the, bro, the broken yes. rap, he, he's one of the top lyricists in the game. But I just guess I hold him to such a standard because burden of proof, like from when the record yeah. started. Well, even it was... the first, what the first Plugs project did for him, Absolutely. that was his ascension, right? You right. Know, you know what I mean? But even if you didn't like the album, the features, you gotta love those. He had to respect his joint that he did on West Side Guns Project, the joint that he had on DMX, Hood Blues. But it's challenging though, because West Side, I don't know how you going with this. It's okay. Right. West, Side, <laughs> West Side Gun, right. you know, the Hermes joint, super active. Conway's still out here. You know, Makami's affiliated. Like, everybody knows we've done historic interviews with Griselda. That's true. They may accuse you of some Griselda bias. Griselda bias? I'm accusing them. I'm accusing them. Not Griselda bias. Come on, and man. And then, then how do you judge Gun and Conway? Are Gun and Conway going to be on this list? But again, it's hard with those guys because you love them all. Like, it's hard to judge them as individuals. And if you did that, they take three spots. And my comedy's four spots. So how, do you, <laughs> how do you deal with the Griselda? The Griselda part is a real dilemma. But I think that, you know, people definitely going to come at you thinking, you know, Rap Radar, Griselda, I'm the fight is always fixed. aligned. Can I get a consultant <laughs> gig with Griselda too? I'm saying, I put them on my list too, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Rap Radar got the Griselda, it's a Griselda New Year's <laughs> Eve do, Yeah, like I got to flip a coin or something. Let's go to number six. Whew. Yeah. I'm exhausted already. Nas. Wow. Yeah. Escobar like 2021. Season. Big Nas, baby. Escobar 2021. Yes. All right, Absolutely. wait, hold on, hold on a second. Elliot, how, wait, how, what do you feel about that pick? I love it, man. I think that, um, yeah, man, I just I can't believe the the Nas, uh, just not even just the music, right? Like just that he's out here now, like right. active in the culture and like the great work he's doing with Mass Appeal and mm -hmm. uh, the video music box doc, you know, covers of magazines, like you know, and then you know, you know, everybody said, well, he doesn't pick the best beats and shit, so he gets with Hit Boy, yeah, he crafts one, he ca gets a Grammy, yeah, checks that off the bucket list, yep. <laughs> and then goes back and re ups again. So and like and like is in the conversation. So I just love that he's out there and like. You know, I've been in the game since 92. He been he been in the game since 92, like that yeah. same era. Like for for Nas to be on a list in 2021 of the top MCs in the game says a lot, man. Yeah. So salute to that, man. I think King's Disease 2 is definitely one of the best projects this year. Absolutely. Like Nas is talking his street shit on like Death Row East, talking about Suge, and then you got the Brunch on Sunday's record. Like yeah. there's so much versatility in that project, super cohesive. And um, if we talk about the, the verse on Khaled record with- Sorry with Jay-Z. <laughs> 
Man, he put, he put Jay under the wing on that. Oh, oh, that shit. Oh, listen, I know those of y'all. I don't listen. Don't, I, don't, I want to go to the brunch, hoe. Please don't. <laughs> oh, you ain't going. Please it's don't over. Me it's over, man. Jay, like, but we being honest, that record, I'm saying, just that okay. record specifically. No I'm, comeback I'm, brunch for you, buddy. No comeback brunch for you, buddy, boy. I need plus one for the brunch, y'all. <laughs> you know, Jay pop in, pop out. Nas being so active in the consistency of it, I think it's really winning people over. And I think he's also, to me, getting inspired by it. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we get a, you know, KD3. They kind of teased oh, it. Oh, listen, I can't say too yeah. much. Ah. Can't say too much. Just no. Just no. Just, just no. Just coming? Just no. That's all I can say. All right. Well, at number five, we got Conway the Machine. Oh, Chris Alvin. Talk to him. <laughs> Bro, Najee, why do you look like you're such a disbelief right now? Because your list is 50 and over list. Like, come on, so bro. So we, we got three Griselda members. Bro, listen. I'm just saying, listen, again, my point stands from before. Last year, what these guys did, we all know they can rap. Anybody who listens to rap knows that they can rap. Right. But if we're comparing what they did in 2020 to what happened in 2021, how could he be top five? Well, I'm glad he's mentioned that, Nazi, because I made yeah. a list, and I'm checking it twice. <laughs> yeah, check it twice. Check it, please. We have La Makina, the album, right? Yes. He had Piano Love, Hell on Earth 2 on the West Side Gun Project. Nah, we ain't the Ritual that. of AZ, Chomp 2 with Russ, which recently released. The Hood Blues Project with DMX. We don't remember that. And, you don't remember it? <laughs> don't I remember that. it. And I think anytime you have Conway on the track, he always comes through and represents. I mean, La Makina is a dope project. Yes. I do like it. But Scattered from brain? a king to a god, it's love. From he, a king to a God King's was, a guy was great. That's what I'm saying. It, the drop was. off to me, Ooh. I have to take points off the drop off because he, we know what these guys could do. I but hold them to what's a certain the official album? Like, I'm, I'm butchering the title, the Shady Record. That hasn't come out that yet. Right? No, that hasn't come out yet. What's the title of that? Uh, from wait, God don't make mistakes. God make God, yeah. yeah, God don't, God don't, don't make mistakes yet. isn't out. So to me, it's hard to put him that high without God don't mistakes out yet. Like, yes. And Lil Durk's still number ten. I'm gonna say that every. <laughs> Wait, answer. you think so Lil Durk crazy. was rapping better than Conway this year? hundred percent. Get the fuck out uh, of here. How, what do you mean? See, that's what I think. You're leaning towards 100%? skill. You're leaning towards bars. Like, when it, like, I'm I'm old school. Like, when they say the rapper, you're saying the biggest artist, per se. I, I look at right. this artist. Yes. I'm not, like, Black Thought would always be in the top, yeah. whatever. So, but right. I think when you go to Griselda, you spin it on the bars part, which, you know, Only they're different bars. types of Most guys listen, 80% it. bars and the rest. I think it's 50%. I think lyricism needs to be put at a premium. Skill and of course, like I said, your but presence. But if you're saying presence, where was the presence this year? For Conway, Conway? If you listen to this rap year? music, it was everywhere. Not not as much as from a king to a guy. Yeah, that's like, what I'm saying. No, yeah. Nah, come on. And I like Conway. I don't want Conway like he, trying to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, I like Conway. Look, we but love Griselda. We don't know this, this on the record, but with God, don't make mistakes. Not even out yet. I think it's 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 definitely a standout for you to put him that high on the list. You think he's too high, Elliot? Yes. Does he be, does he belong on the list, Elliot? Ooh, we'll get to that soon. Do that. You motherfucker. If number four is West Side Gun, I'm leaving. I'm, you, I'm leaving. I'm not even hey, done. Yo. <laughs> hey, yo. Well, pack your gun b- coming out. Are they here? Pack your bags. We're going to Buffalo. <laughs> At number four, Freddie Gibbs. Oh, come on, Ooh. man. Come on. This is, I love Gangsta Gibbs. What did he put out this year? Bro. He put the project out. Oh, my goodness. What project? A couple singles. Now, F- to be fair, there was no album. Last year, I ranked Freddie Gibbs at number one. Uh, these are B-Dot's favorite rappers. Yeah, these are right. not my favorite yeah, rappers. relationship list. No, it's not. It's a remix of the 2020 list now, man. Listen, the game don't change just the players, okay? <laughs> he dropped number- more songs this year. No, he did not. <laughs> Freddie Uh-oh. Gibbs, he, he, did have a, he did have somewhat of a quiet year if you weren't listening, right? But, of course, they had Big Boss Rap. He had the Vice Lord Poetry when he... Basically remixed the Drake going to bars, yeah, man. We that. moving the bars remember again. Yeah, Black, yeah. Lumin- bars. Black Illuminati with Jada Kiss. That was cool. That was cool. That was cool. I like that. I like Fake Flowers on the Boldy James project. Uh, the empathy on Lloyd Banks. I mean, Freddie Gibbs. He was rapping at a high level still in 2021. No one's saying bro. he don't rap at a high level. And it was a this lot is the of, best bro, rapper. A lot of anticipation for his album. Again, to me, it's like the Conway. Like the big project we're gonna get isn't even there yet. It's not out yet. It's, he's coming top of the year probably. Bro. I just feel like you putting Freddie Gibbs just solely based on lyrical ability. You broke and a down couple the criteria, singles, couple right? Singles. And a couple of singles. Right. I want to know the criteria. We're talking okay. about lyrical ability is so very skill. high. The skill is very high. Yes. His performance. The, the, what he did on Big Boss rap. Rabbit? Are you kidding me? Over the night? Like not he, enough. Not enough? Not, come, he floated on that. You got Little Dirk at number 10. Not enough. <laughs> he floated <laughs> on that. How, one the, song? Listen, yeah, I, don't, I think, I think you're nah, trying too man. hard to preserve your 2020 list, I think. It's, it's not. It's a real backpack. A whole year happened, man. Ooh, I got a little dirt. A lot of rap came out this year, dude. A lot of rap came out in 2021, man. Okay. A it's a very uh, hip-hop. Uh, <laughs> put your hands up. Yeah, like, <laughs> 
twenty one. Ain't no ladies bro. in the house. Yeah, yeah ladies. A lot of jail <laughs> niggas in the audience. A lot of jail like, guys. Okay. Uh-oh. All right. How about this? At number three, I got Drake. Woo, let's not. How do you feel about that, Najee? He's not top three in my list this year. But be clear. Wow. Yeah, honestly, honestly. Okay. But be clear. Drake is Drake. We ain't gonna yes. do. We ain't gonna do that. Yeah. We ain't gonna do that. Drake is still the boy. My knock on Drake is the albums, man. The albums. The albums. And I, and to be fair, CLB is growing on me a little bit since yeah. it came out. Yeah. Right? I'll say that. Yeah. CLB is growing. Since it came out. Nobody wants to admit that. We it's all grown, feel that But way. if we're talking yeah. about, like, we put Drake just so high as far yeah. as, you know, what he's done, his catalog, everything, the album's got to be better, bro. I, I kind of agree with you. I feel like the album didn't live up to our expectations, but he definitely held his own on a lot Load of these. Load up the Drake, sure man. Load up the Drake. He's still sure the heavyweight did. champ right now. He walks around like he's our, he's our leader. Like, he carries it, man. Like, yeah. I mean, like you know... The presence is undeniable. He's the most listened to rapper Period. on the yeah. planet. Like Period. whatever, whatever DSPs, whatever your situation is, <laughs> yeah. like, it's undeniable his cultural influence. I mean, he's helped others even like him, you know, resolving things with Kanye, mm-hmm. elevates Kanye to me again, right? Like all that is there. He's he's a leader in spaces. It's kind of like when Jay's run, where Jay at times would be clearly like no matter what, still top three. Mm-hmm. Other guys may have a hotter run that year yeah. and be one or two above him, but yeah. Jay would stay top three. I think Drake's the number one guy overall, mm. even though people, we don't feel, we don't feel CLB's a classic. Mm. I think Drake overall is our number one guy, but I like him in number three. You like him in number three? Actually, do, we agree feel with like, do we feel like he needs He's a number one classic, overall. though? Hmm? Do we feel like he needs he that classic? He actually doesn't. Him and 40 have that formula. They're stubborn. They yeah. want to create this <laughs> sonic body of work that's not like giving you like, like direct slaps kind of shit or like that type of thing. There's no boy wonder on the last album, right? right? Like things that would please the hip hop head. Like they have their own vision. But I do think that Drake unfairly though, I think that a lot of people say like he doesn't show enough diversity in his music. If you think about it, he's to me one of the most diverse in terms of sonically, like from a one dance to a nice for what, to like when he just I mean, bars stuff up. Like no rapper's done that much and he's singing and he's rapping. So I think in that way, like, but it's I like you said, it. we said Jay's the number one guy all right. time, right? But when we look at the spectrum of Jay's career, even at the latter end, a lot of the stuff that he's doing, when we talking American gangster, right? Like concept album, strictly concept, obviously 444 is just like we're getting a lot of different dynamics from this guy, from this man, and they don't all sound like similar. But it's I think hard, even but it's hard when you're the reigning that. champ to like, let me just not do my formula. Let me not deliver what my fans want and just switch, like, do something totally different. It's like, he's the reigning champ. That's why I respect Kanye, though. You gotta respect Kanye, because he always goes, whether you like it or not, he's gonna give you something different than what he did before. I think Drake definitely held his own. He gave me a lot of great verses. The only one I agree with, Drake is number three. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, I like the smiley record, though. Can't Drake. Uh, We said Gucci and Prada don't go together. (laughs) Drake killed that line. I need to die with a 10. That's part of the brand. I was like, damn. Okay. All right. At number two, I got J. Cole. Oh, I'm excited about what number one might be. (laughs) Oh, my God. I'm with with that. Well, Hallie, before we get to number one, Uh, how do you feel about number two? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. I love that album. That's my top album of the year. All right. Off season. Forest Hills Drive is the standard, I thought. Mm. But off season, you know, really freed him up. Like he approached it like a mixtape. His bars are sharp. Like, yeah. Super like and there's sharp. no skips on that joint to me. Like, yeah. so why not number one? I guess we'd say. Well, yeah. for Joe Cole, I feel like he absolutely smoked this year. The album is phenomenal. Yep. Um, but his output wasn't as much as some of the other contenders. But the album is just so heavy. Like it just weighed a lot on my uh, on my selection. What about we you also saw, me, me, me and you both saw him live. Yeah. So, I mean, that's the thing. It's like we hadn't. T- he opened back up the arena kind of vibe of one man to see him command a whole new generation of fans and present this new album in such a major way like but not only that he also had the pipe down freestyle which i thought was pretty yes, dope the la dope. leakers freestyle i did like that the la leakers was dope i mean cold to me this album was phenomenal for a few reasons i mean i think just one cohesively the camp cam coming out talking shit had me going yeah. crazy that was <laughs> i love that intro but cole isn't when cole gets in this space where he is talking shit like because we know yeah. Cole, right? Like he's, he's the guy. He's the humble guy. He always <laughs> wants to save, you know, save the world. Give us the real gems and real food for thought, yeah. which is cool, and I love that. But when Cole gets on that record, <laughs> yeah. it's too easy Piss for him me off. now. Piss him off. Yeah. Cole been going past his back. The CDs was around. I don't like, know what he was telling him, but he told him something. That's what I said. Man. Somebody got Cole in his bag, and I'm like, somebody that's pissed the bag off I Cole. want you to stay in. <laughs> Talk that shit, Cole. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I love that, so I'm not mad at that at all, man. Well, finally, we have some. Uh, uh, we're seeing eye to eye. Finally. I don't got nothing to say about Lil Dirk for this round. I, re- <laughs> I respect that. All right, so before we get to number one, Naj, you got to ask you, who do you think is going to be uh, at the top spot? 
It might be West Side Gun the way you do it. Yeah, let's go. The way you do it, yeah, let's go. I don't, even, guy, I don't right? even know what the Kumo D is something. Kumo the D. way you do it. Now, uh, Elliot, what do you think, man? The smaller? I think I know I think I know the right answer, you be that. It better be the right answer, man. It better be. Used, used to be an artist that I I'm very, you know, been cool with from day one. I feel like it took you a minute to become a fan of. Who are you, who are you talking about, Elliot? Uh Tyler the Creator. Tyler the Creator? Tyler the Creator, Ooh. baby. Oh, well, let's see who number one is. Number one rapper of 2021. Oh, oh, come on, man. I ain't mad at that. What are you doing? I ain't mad at what, that. What, Elliot? What? I'm not mad at that. <laughs> yeah, I'm the not feature mad. King? The feature this guy King? This guy's rapping like he needs a deal, Elliot. The feature, the feature King. Okay, I but come on, that. man. See it, Greed. West Side Club, oh, Bash. That might be the best verse of the year. I mean, come honest. on, Elliot. This guy, he was his run this Wait, year. Wait, what do you have, Wayne? I got Wayne high up there. He's not my number one. But he's very high up there. All when I'm features? Looking, I mean, just these, features. Yes, this year felt like, this felt like when, when 2008, when Wayne was, you remember that year when Wayne was on everything and we yes. just couldn't get away from him? This year felt like that to me. It was like everything from the, from the like you said, from the Seeing and Green I'm, verse I'm to, the, my phone to the Corday verse. <laughs> the verse with Corday, right? Yes. To the, uh, Tyler to the, the AZ, Creator. To the AZ verse. Yes, Hot Wind Blows, Tyler the Creator. How is Tyler the Creator not on this list? Sometimes you hate you hating too. Oh my I goodness! On my list, not for best rapper, best album. That's a different story. Yes, the best rapper. I, I don't know. So the guy who makes one of the best albums of the year isn't a best rapper. Yeah, like West Side Gun. He make he makes an amazing <laughs> album, but he's not the best rapper. Come on, nah. But oh, Little Wayne. I mean, uh, Elliot, you'll be remiss to not mention Little Wayne on the best rappers. No, I, I can see him being on the top ten, maybe in the bottom yeah. half. To me, because again, it's just I feel like again you're building up anticipation. Do I want to hear another Wayne album? Yeah, because he's murdering stuff right. right now. And like, but just for features alone, he even to did be it. number one in the list. I don't think he ran the year. Just I think Wayne checked off all the boxes this year. It's like whenever Wayne was on the track, yeah. we paid attention. And that's why I have him at, at the Ooh, top. I agree. Spot. He's high on my list too, man. Like when you do the level above what you supposed to do. Like what Wayne did on Seeing Green, that that might be to me the best verse of yeah, the I year. Yeah, I think you're leaning a little too much towards lyrical performances. I think that's that, your overall aesthetic to me. But that's I think, what gets you Griselda. Yeah. That's what gets you Wayne here. Like, I you know, agree. you barred up a little bit too much. People. I barred up too much? <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Ooh. All right, so just to recap my list, guys. At number 10, I got Little Dirk. Number nine, Makami. Eight, Little Baby. Seven, Benny the Butcher. Six, Nas. Five, Conway the Machine. Four, Freddie Gibbs. Three, Drake. Two, J. Cole. And number one, Little Wayne. All right, Elliot, so what's your biggest issue with my list? <laughs> Should I disagree? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think I got to start right at the top. I, yeah, I can't see Wayne as number one. You can't see Wayne as number one? Not even top five to me. I, could, wow. I, think, I think you could put him in the bottom half of the list. Are we still? Cool, can you still do podcasts together? I mean, I have to change my number. Like, I don't know where the world's gonna see this. <laughs> I feel like I got I got banned from Instagram today, but like, I'm right. gonna be back. But I feel like I should go on Twitter and be like, you're not gonna believe me that's listening oh, to it. Like, man. But the anticipation is already out there to really see what you've delivered here, yeah. man. It's gonna be a tough day on my phone, man. It's gonna be a tough day. Najee, is there anyone I missed? Man, you missed a bunch of people, I ain't even gonna lie. You missed ESTG this year. Ooh, ESTG geez. had one hell of a year. Top of the year. You ain't nothing special. We, yeah, I'm just a rapper, <laughs> I ain't nothing special. We talking about lick back, we talking about special. We talking about, you said the record with Little Baby. No Kanye? No Kanye? The comeback kid? The comeback kid? Ooh, I didn't, I didn't put Kanye on my list. No you got, I didn't get Kanye on my list. Ooh, Ooh. Even, even Drake showing love again? No, no yay? Uh, not, not this year. You ain't got no yay on him? You ain't gonna make it this year. I don't know. Yay. Listen, man, this was, this was hard. There's only 10 names you could put 2021. And I got one honorable mention, man. What do you got, Elliot? Jada Kiss, man. Jada Kiss. Jada Kiss. Mm. That versus, man. That versus was like was its crazy. own album, man. That like, was crazy. Like that was Jada a Kiss. moment. That was crazy. Let's make something happen, B. Yeah, put crazy. Jada Kiss on that list, man. Something, right? Jada yeah, Kiss that was crazy. the culture. All right, so All hold right. that thought. Now that my picks are in, being that we have some pushback on my list, let's see what yours looks like, Najee. Yeah. Here goes Najee. Let's. Uh -oh. What the? Yeah. Get down now. Stop with them. Stop See with that? the bottom, baby. What you the fuck? Number I 10. Like it, yeah. You talking about me? Little Nas X. Little Nas X. Yeah. What you mean? Like, what you mean? How do you? You can't be in 2021 if we're looking at the entire spectrum <laughs> oh of rap, gosh. right? Rap artists. Is, rap is this big. Rap artist. Rap is this big. We're not just talking about culture, which is a segment of it. There's so many different genres of rap, subgenres. If we're talking about the best this year, if you listen to the Montero album, this guy, we talking about the presence, the showmanship. Little Nas has to be on Little there. Little Nas X. Absolutely. Who was Little Nas X rapping better than this year? 
Uh, he's number See? 10. Everybody has <laughs> nine. Everybody Everybody has. Has. Let's get to Mulatto, too. Get a Mulatto? Okay. I like Mulatto. Female MCs, I was going to say. I'm Where the saying, female yeah, MCs? We, yeah, be that. We women MCs. We got Cardi. Oh, no. We got Cardi. Oh. We got Meg. We got Sweetie. You know Corey LeRae. Where we at, I'm just baby? saying, Big Lotto, this shit. Susan B. B. Anthony over here. <laughs> Sazi, these ladies. Yeah, right. Listen, but look about your number one. You got a little baby at number one. Listen, bro. If you were outside at any point in 2021, yes, I feel like you was probably in the house. You still, you still a pandemic time. <laughs> still a. But I'd be outside, <laughs> little baby. <laughs> Bro, like I said so you earlier. So he didn't lose any steam in your mind. He ran 2020, he ran 2021. He did the same thing. Little Baby has so much versatility in what he's doing. He could kill it in a street way. He could kill it in a in a uh, internal projectile kind of way. <laughs> Little Baby's doing everything, man. Number one on the list. Well, yeah, let's see that. what yours look like, oh, Elliot. Let's see you at. Let's, 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 let's get some at. order, man. Let's get <laughs> some order let's here. Oh, you got order. my commie, too? I think it belongs right there. Polo G. Yeah, all right. You're I'm, sleeping on Polo, man. Like, rap star, rap triple star? platinum. Like, that whole Hall of Fame. And then Nas, as mentioned earlier, the veteran out here putting in work, staying consistent. Dirk, I have lower and baby. And yeah, Kanye's the comeback, yeah, man. He's one, of, he's one of the goats to the game, right? So at the end of the day, you know, you realize now what a kind of a career slump he was in with those last two albums and making a switch toward making gospel music. But with Donda, you know, he delivered. He brought himself back to the pro- forefront. And, you know, Drake co-signing at the end elevates that. Drake, number three, we agree. Tyler, yeah, Tyler, I don't know how to say you in front of Tyler, the creator. He got with DJ Drama. Yeah. Yes. He made a fucking mixtape. That album to me, to me, I go back and forth between that and Cole's album off season mm-hmm. of what the best album is of the year. And I don't see how he can't be in the conversation. But you got J. Cole at number one. I'm not mad at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cole off season. But it's funny though, the this. internet don't the internet don't want to give it up to Cole though. Like if you want these, these, these social media channels though, like we're saying Cole's number one, but he doesn't get that. Like he says a disconnect. It's cool. It was obviously in the beginning cool to make fun of him on Twitter. Yeah. But it's interesting how he's not being fully embraced, I feel, is like you know, he clearly is one of our greatest of that generation, you know, but like, you know, we're all saying it's up there. I mean, I have it number one. You had it, what, number two? I had Cole at number two. And you had it where? Free? Yeah, I had Cole number three. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, that seems to me the one we agree on the most yeah. Yeah. overall. But, you know, I feel like Cole still isn't fully getting it. But the thing about Cole is like, he does dip in and dip out, unlike a Drake. Drake's such a strong, consistent presence. But Drake, right? like Ken- Cole, like Kendrick, pops in. Takes was, over the game and then yeah. goes and plays basketball. I mean, right. he's literally balling overseas <laughs> when he drops the album. One like, of the greatest rollouts I've ever seen. <laughs> like, this guy is just... All right, all right, decent list. But y'all already know I'm biased towards mine. But what do y'all think? Whose best rapper list of 2021 was better? Najee, Elliott, or mine? Jump in the comments and let us know. And I want to thank my guys, Najee and Elliot, for stopping by. And thank you all for rocking with us through two great seasons of Complex Brackets. Have a happy new year, and I'll see y'all in 2022. Season 3 is coming. I'm Brian B. Dodd-Miller. Brack up! <laughs>